It's the Crypto Lightsaber back with another video, guys. We're going to talk about Squid Grow once again. And we're going to talk about why I'm still continuing to buy Squid Grow despite the price coming down from its all time high at around 50 million market cap. Right now, it's down to about 9 million market cap. But again, yesterday, I bought more Squid Grow dollar cost averaging as you do. And I have now accumulated over 1 trillion. Squid Grow tokens, which I have staked in the staking dashboard for 20% APY. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, pretty decent sized bag. It's not as worth as much as it was over here. Okay, I've had about half of that, I've, but I've managed to double my bag of Squid Grow um, from these low prices, right? It's all about taking advantage of low prices, especially if you believe that a project has short mid-term long-term potential and i believe that squid grow has that so i am continuing to buy it right um at the end of the day when i was buying over here and over here i believe that it was a great project with a great community with uh, strong fundamentals um despite being a meme coin you know staking coins being removed from circulation um token burns and so on but um also the founder shibtoshi um his track record his reputation the whole backstory behind the whole thing, you know, if you listen to various AMAs and uh, we hear the same story over and over again because it's a true story, right? The story doesn't change, right? The founder, Shibtoshi, who created Squid Grow, has a proven track record. He's He was one of the biggest Shib whales, um, Shiba Inu billionaire, Bitcoin billionaire, you name it, right? So, uh, you know, with that backstory and with everything surrounding the this token, right, I've just been super bullish on it. I haven't just give up on it because it's having a pullback because pullbacks are normal, right? Downside is normal. Charts don't just go in straight lines. But for me, I'm just looking at the long term potential of this project. I'm also looking at the obviously the, the market that we're in, we're in a bear market, right? So I'm looking at. The potential for this project, this particular project, when the market turns back around as a whole, the bull run comes back. The meme coins start popping off like crazy. I believe that Squid Grow is going to be one of those meme coins that's going to go absolutely nuts. I believe the same thing about Saitama. I believe the same thing about Shiba Inu at the time, right? And I just believe the same thing now. I'm seeing the same kind of, you know, at momentum. I'm seeing the same kind of community hype. In this particular meme coin, which is why I'm putting so much money into it. Okay, guys. So, I mean, you can literally buy Squid Grow and get millions and millions of Squid Grow right now for very cheap prices. Okay, guys. And uh, it's actually got a million, 1.1 million in liquidity, sitting at 9.2 million market cap. I believe this is going to surpass its all-time high eventually. And it's literally just time, right? So in time, I believe it's going to do that, right? But in the meantime, I'm accumulating, okay, guys? I'm accumulating. And, uh, you know, I don't expect everybody to, you know, be as hyped about a particular token as myself. I don't expect everybody to see the same value in any one token, right? All I'm doing is showing you what I'm doing, right? And over the years, I have got a lot of them right. And I've got some of them wrong. But that is just the nature of the beast, right? Crypto is very volatile is very high risk no risk no reward right but squid go for example they are verified on telegram now if you look at all of these channels right all of these channels right various uh, uh in fact in the archive i've got most of them right various channels right not none of these channels in telegram have a blue tick to say they're verified okay guys and some of these are pretty decent projects right Sphere Finance, for example, not verified. Phantom Galaxy is not verified, right? This is the first time I've ever seen a verified tick on a Telegram group. Let's just, uh, if I go over here, right? Crypto and something. You'll see it's got a blue tick on Squid Grow right here, if you can see, right? Blue tick verified. They've just got verified on Coin Market Cap. Okay, guys. So if you think about Twitter, for example, you know that someone's legit, you know that someone's proper, you take, um, you know, a note of what people say when they have a blue tick on their Twitter, like Elon Musk, you know, it's, it's legit, it's the real Elon Musk, Richard Hart, you know, it's the real Richard Hart, 
You can see blue tick right here on Retail Insider on Twitter, right? Now, they don't have a blue tick on Twitter yet, but they have a blue tick on Telegram, and they've just got verified on CoinMarketCap as well. You can see the announcement. Our Squid Grow CMC account is now verified. and has a Squid Grow logo as a profile Im uh, the profile image. Squid Grow is also registered for community on CMC ready to go. Show some love and so on. Okay, guys, they are also a LLC now, a limited liability company. So uh, we know that they're legit. Uh, people are fudding on Satoshi Street bets and so on about, you know, is he really the shit billionaire? Put 10 grand up to prove and all this sort of stuff. 10 grand is like nothing, right? You know, it's nothing. Um, it's nothing for, I mean, you don't even need to, uh, Is it was it 10K? Something like that anyway. There was some bet on Satoshi Street bets that were, you know, trying to accuse Shibtoshi of not being the Shiba Inu whale and all this sort of stuff. But, you know, really, you know, nobody really needs to prove anything. But Shibtoshi is like, hey, listen, I'll put up 150k of sign it verified and all that sort of stuff. I saw a video from Squid Girl Joe about all the, the back and forth that's been going on with that. Just FUD, right? This is a legit project, in my opinion, right? Everything's high risk in crypto. Um, people are jealous. You know, these things happen, right? The competition is always trying to destroy each other in crypto. I'm not sure why we are, all can't just, you know, get money. But, you know, it is what it is. But, um, you know, I think it's a legit project. I think it's got huge potential. I think, you know, it's not just one person, right? So you've got Shibtoshi. You also have uh, Rdub, who's a member of the team, right? Um, you got to call into question his credibility if you're calling in Shibtoshi's credibility, right? You've got the marketing director who is doxxed, right? you got to call, you know, call in his credibility if these guys are not who they say they are, right? Um, you've got to call in uh, Bitmart's credibility if they're not who they say they are because Bit Bitmart are an exchange registered in the United States, um, they are verified, KYC verified with Bitmart. You have to do that to get on the exchange. You don't have to do that for every exchange. I have listed a token on the exchange before. I didn't have to do any verifications or anything like that. Lower tier exchanges, but higher tier exchanges, especially with you know the legal framework in the United States, you've got to do that. You've got to do the KYC. So Bitmart don't play around with that sort of stuff, right? Shibtoshi has got this coin on Bitmart and he's had to do his KYC. He's had to give his utility bills and bills and all that sort of stuff. So if anything was to happen, you know, he could potentially face legal action, right? No, we don't need to know who he is. All we need to know is his alias, right? If you look at Drip Network, for example, Forex Shark, we don't know who Forex Shark is. We don't know his real name. We just know that he's got an alias called Forex Shark. I'm sure his parents didn't name him Forex Shark. I'm sure that's not on his birth certificate, for example, right? But Squid Grow. Has he found a Shibtoshi, right? And let's just assume he is who he says he is based on some of the information that he's been able to provide and the fact that he didn't verify, he, he didn't come out and proclaim himself as anything. Somebody else found out wallet watching and he just came out and just like verified it and says, you know what? Yeah, you're right. That's me, you know, and run with a backstory ever since, right? So I'm super bullish on this project. You know, if it wasn't obvious, you know, I mean, I'm putting my money where my mouth is. I'm buying the tokens on the way down. We can only, only we only time can tell whether this actually does come back, but I do believe it will at the end of the day. Uh, this to me looks like a market cycle playing out. Uh, as far as Anka said, it could come even back down to and, and find a support level even further, right? And I just see that as another buying opportunity because eventually the market will turn around. Okay, guys, uh, we see very high volume. Coming in for this particular project, right? 390k in the last 24 hours, you know, and that's in comparison to some other meme coins, right? You know, we're not talking like a comparison to Ethereum or Bitcoin or something like that, but 390k in volume, right? It's only 1.1 million in liquidity, market cap's 9.1 million. So that is a huge amount of volume over the last 24 hours, uh, in my opinion, right? Uh, we have more buys than sells, 342 buys, 161 sells over the last 24 hours, right? 503 transactions. You've got to look at the metrics, okay, guys? And this is the weekend, by the way, right? So a lot of people aren't really actively trading and buying right now. But I believe that when people come back into the market and they switch their computers back on, they're probably going to see these low prices and they think, you know what, let me pick up a little bit more squid grow. Let me dollar cost average into some more 
Squid Grow. All right, guys, so I'm bullish on the project. Let's see how it goes, guys. I'm just giving you my opinion. None of this is financial advice. Just wanted to make an update video because, you know, not everybody is, you know, super huge fans of the project at the end of the day. That's like anything, right? Uh, there's going to be haters. There's going to be people who are more cautious. There's going to be people that are buying the top and kind of like panicking because it's down. You know, I'm with you. I bought the top two. All right, guys. I bought on the way up, of course, dollar cost averaging in. I knew it wasn't just going to go up forever. It was just, wasn't just was just going to go to the moon in a straight line. But I'm looking at long-term potential. Okay, guys. And, of course, you know, you can do your trading, uh, your... Uh, uh, your TA on it and stuff like that. You know, if you draw a Fibonacci retracement, right, you can just look at the potential for price action, right? Uh, you know, for me, if I draw a Fib on it, it looks like the price could come all the way up here and it could pull back all the way down to here, potentially, right? You just never know. The market does what it wants to do sometimes. And uh, sometimes we are just at the mercy of the market and especially looking at Bitcoin and Ethereum and the whole, uh, you know, stock market, uh, the global economy right now, recession, housing market crashes and all that sort of stuff. For all we know, we could see low prices for a long time. But ultimately, you know, I think we've just gotten too used to overnight gains. We've gotten too used to things just going to the moon in a heartbeat. I mean, if we want to talk about going to the moon in a heartbeat, I mean, it, technically, you know, Squid Grow did do 1,000x in a month, okay, guys, from 25K market cap all the way to 25 million uh, market cap and then to 50 million market cap. So way over 1,000x in a month. If that's not bullish price action, I don't know what that what is. Um, but I just see it as an opportunity to buy low prices because the amount of people that would have been kicking and screaming saying you know what i wish i would have been able to buy squid grow over here and now it's gone to the moon i missed out well rockets return from the moon and they land back on the earth okay guys and if it's reusable then it can go back to the moon all right guys so that being said quick update on squid grow just giving you my thoughts on it, all right, guys. Like it or leave it. Make up your own mind. None of it's financial advice. Don't risk more than what you can afford to lose. Let me know what you think in the comments. And like the video that helps with the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. Tick the little bell for notifications. And I'll see you in the very next video.